Hello, welcome to NeoScribe. The average urban commuter wastes about 42 hours a year stuck in traffic jams. U.S. highway congestion costs $160 billion a year due to lost productivity, gas burnt, and additional wear and tear on vehicles. That's enough money to build the International Space Station and one Ford-class aircraft carrier. And this is a global problem, and it's only getting worse. Two-thirds of the world's population is expected to live in cities by 2050, creating one planet-sized parking lot. But not if Elon Musk and The Boring Company can help it. The Boring Company aims to solve traffic by taking urban transportation to the third dimension, by excavating tunnels so people can have more avenues to travel in traffic-congested areas. The challenge they face is finding a way to make the solution cost-effective. As it stands now, excavating tunnels can cost up to $1 billion per mile. One of the ways the boring company plans to cut costs of tunneling is to improve tunnel boring machine technology, along with improving tunneling methods. Musk believes they can triple the power output of boring machines and also develop a way to continuously excavate without having to stop and erect tunnel support structures. The way I see it, if Musk can lead a team of engineers to build the most powerful operational rocket in the world, I can imagine he can achieve this as well. Another way of cutting the cost is reducing the size of the tunnel by half. By doing this, they reduce the cost up to four times. And this takes us to the Loop system. Loop is a high-speed underground public transportation system, and because of the reduced size of the tunnels, passengers will travel on autonomous electric skates, traveling on a track at speeds up to 240 kilometers per hour. The skates are platforms that will carry between 8 and 16 passengers, or a single passenger vehicle. And this is different from a Hyperloop, which are pressurized pods that travel in a vacuum tube. What's cool about the loop system is that entry points or loop lifts can be dispersed throughout the route and can be as small as a parking space. Cars or pedestrian vessels will be lowered down by elevators and be safely merged into the loop system. And the Boring Company also plans to make bricks out of the excavated dirt and this will further reduce the cost of tunneling. Additionally, the use of these bricks instead of concrete is better for the environment as concrete production accounts for almost 5% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. So the Boring Company has three proposed projects in the United States. One is the dugout loop located in LA that will run from East Hollywood or Rampart Village neighborhoods to Dodger Stadium and will only be a four minute trip. Second is the Chicago Express Loop, which will run between O'Hare Airport and downtown Chicago. The route will take 12 minutes, which is three to four times faster than existing transportation systems between O'Hare and downtown Chicago. And the special thing about the skates in the Chicago Express Loops is that they will have a climate-controlled cabin, luggage storage space, and Wi-Fi. Finally, the third project is the DC Maryland Loop, which will be two parallel tunnels running from downtown DC to downtown Baltimore. It will be a 56 kilometer stretch and will take 15 minutes between the longest points. But the first step before all of this is the Hawthorne Test Tunnel in California. The test tunnel will demonstrate that a lift can be built in small spaces and within existing buildings. It starts at SpaceX headquarters and runs for 3.2 kilometers and it's almost complete. There will be an opening event to showcase the test tunnel on December 10th and then the Boring Company will offer free rides to the public the next day. I can't wait to see the event and I'm really excited to see if the Boring Company can pull off this radical concept and reduce the cost of tunneling as much as they're shooting for. Because with all the technological advances we've had over the years, it's about time we stop wasting time and resources stuck in congested misery. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neoscribe and I'll see you on the next journey.